Hello and a very warm welcome to all of you all. I hope you are enjoying different topics being laid down on this particular channel to actually get acquainted and maybe streamline our efforts in whatever that we are trying to do. And today we are aiming to know very closely what are social skills. Let's understand how social skills, what are social skills in normal, in this most contemporary time and what is that we need to understand in terms of its definition and examples very specific to our professional world. So social skills, definitions and examples. Social skills are essential in building both personal and professional relationships. Demonstrating strong interpersonal skills can help you accomplish career goals, contribute to company achievements, perform well during the hiring process, expand your professional network and much more. Understanding and improving your social skills can benefit you in every area of life. Today, we are going to see what social skills are, its definitions and examples. We would also like to go on and discuss what social skills may influence our overall professional existence, why they are important and how you can improve with loads of examples to follow. What are social skills? So let's find out what social skills are. Social skills are used to communicate with others daily in a variety of ways, including verbal, nonverbal, written, and visual. Social skills are also referred to as interpersonal or soft skills. Verbal skills involve the spoken language, while nonverbal communication includes body language, facial expressions, and eye contact. Anytime you interact with another person, you are using social skills in some way. Strong social skills can help you build and maintain successful relationships professionally and personally too. Why social skills are important? Social skills are important because they can help you communicate more effectively and efficiently and as a result help you build, maintain and grow relationships with colleagues, clients and new contacts alike. These skills are important to maintain and improve no matter your position, industry or experience level. Investing in relationships by developing your social skills is beneficial for your career in many ways, some of which include gaining ideas, information, techniques and perspectives from people with different areas of expertise. Providing your own perspective for the benefit of others. Accomplishing tasks and collaborating with others toward shared goal. Providing mutual support for difficult or hard to navigate situations. Expanding your network to learn about and pursue new opportunities. Gaining feedback and referrals from people who can personally attest to your work skills and qualities and for whom you can do the same. Making the workplace more enjoyable. It is also important to display your social skills during the hiring process. Being able to work and build relationships with others effectively is a crucial quality employers look for in candidates and it can show your fitness for their company culture. To show Social skills in your cover letter provide an example of time you worked with others to achieve a goal that drove success for your team or organization. On your resume, list specific measurable achievements. Then you can elaborate on how you used your skills, your social skills to reach your goals during your interview. Use the STAR method for behavioral questions to explain times you have found success using social skills. Six examples of using social skills. Here are examples of behaviors you can develop to build your social skills and facilitate better interactions in any workplace. One, effective communication. 
The ability to communicate effectively with others is a core social skill. If you have strong communication skills, you will be able to share your thoughts and ideas clearly with others. Effective communicators make good leaders because they can easily explain projects and goals in any easy to understand way. Conflict resolution number two. Disagreements and dissatisfaction can arise in any situation. Conflict resolution is the ability to get to the source of the problem and find a workable solution. Good conflict resolution skills are important in any job, but they might be particularly well suited for a position in HR where you will often address disagreements between employees or in a customer service role where you resolve conflicts for clients about a company's products, services or policies. Third, active listening. Active listening is the ability to pay close attention to a person who is communicating with you. Active listeners are typically well regarded by their co-workers due to their attention and respect they offer others. You can increase your listening skills by focusing on the speaker, avoiding distractions and waiting to prepare your responses only after the other person is finished rather than while they are speaking. Number fourth, empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand and identify with the feelings of another person. If you have empathy, others will often be more likely to confide in you. Being more empathetic takes a conscious effort to carefully consider how others feel. If you strengthen your empathy and rapport with others, you can build stronger, more respectful and open relationships. Number five, relationship management. Relationship management is the ability to maintain healthy relationships and build key connections. For example, if you have a job in customer service, you might be responsible for nurturing the relationship between your company and a specific set of clients. Executives at organizations manage partnerships with stakeholders and investors. This social skill allows professional relationships to flourish and all parties involved can benefit. Number six, respect. A key aspect of respect is knowing when and how to initiate communication and respond. In a team or group setting, allowing others to speak without interruption is a necessary communication skill that shows respect. Respectfully communicating can also mean using your time with someone else wisely, staying on topic, asking clear questions and responding fully to any questions you have been asked. How to improve your social skills? There are several ways to improve your social skills. Here are just a few things you can do to begin. 1. Get feedback. It can be helpful to ask trusted friends, mentors or managers to provide you with honest feedback about your areas for improvement. Set goals. Use this feedback to start setting measurable goals towards building a strong, well-rounded set of social skills. The SMART Goals Framework might be helpful to track your progress. Find resources. There are countless classes, guides, books and other tools both online and offline. While you can certainly pay for resources, there are also many free options. You might also try to search for materials based on specific topics such as body language or charisma. Identify areas for practice. Once you have learned tactics and tips for improving your social skills, put them into practice at home and work. You can also look for volunteer opportunities 
or extracurricular activities where you can practice interpersonal skills with less pressure. If you're looking for soft skills that will improve your employability and help you excel in nearly any job, social skills are a great place to start. The best way to improve your social skills is to put your learning into practice. A background demonstrating success with social skills will serve you well in many areas of life. I'm sure when in 2012 social skills got replaced by employability skills, it was a great and clever decision. Why? Because social skills teach you not to get employed. They teach you actually go beyond and teach you to be employable all the time. So mind you, when you are dealing with social skills, actually you are dealing with your career skills. One of the most important pertinent. I hope you have got enough of this. Might as well imbibe and practice. Thank you.